On this video, we are going to see one common error for agent connectivity and how to troubleshoot. The first thing to check when you already know that you have an issue with an agent is to do an agent info call to target and see the error you're getting. In this example, we SSH to application server and go to NSH. Then we run the following command, agent info all together and hostname of the target. The error we are getting is fail connecting to server, hostname and the port, and error number 146, connection refuse. This error message could be caused by different things that we will check here. The first thing to check is if server is down. An example, the server was still booting and ping was showing host unreachable. Note that ping will only tell you if ICMP is allowed, and it's not always a good way to verify connectivity with server. Same message could be caused if RSD agent is not running on target. The best way to check if agent is running is by checking the date of the rsd.log. This means that the agent has not been running for some days, causing the error we saw. You'll need to verify if RSD is a zombie process and you'll need to kill it. Or if it's not even running, you need to start it. The port could also be blocked and rejecting the connection to the target causing this error. In this case, ping will work fine, but telnet to this port will have issues. The default port to connect to agent is 4750, but it can be changed. You can check which port is configured by looking at the secure file from application server and the agent. Default LAN on secure file from application server is the one you need to specify for outbound connections, like the NSH client. And the RSED line is to specify how the connection is coming to this target. Please note that port for RSED line in agent and default line on application server or NSH proxy needs to match in order to work correctly. One thing you'll always need to keep in mind is the connection path to the agent. It could be that some IP addresses are blocked on target and it's only accepting connections from NSH proxy. For example, I am using another server for the console. If I open the secure file on this server, I can see two entries for default, one commented with hash sign and the other not. To identify if it is using NSH proxy or not, you'll need to check if the default line has app server protocol equals SSO proxy. In this case, as this line is commented, it will not use NSH proxy, and connections to the targets are going to be made from this IP. If I do agent info using NSH here from console, it will not work as IP address for console server is blocked. From NSH proxy server, it will work correctly. To make it work again, I'll just uncomment the line with the SSO proxy entry in order to use NSH proxy. And connection to target will arrive from NSH proxy instead of console server. To confirm this is working, you can always check the rsd.log from target. It will have the IP address where the connection is coming from. If issue is intermittent, it could be that the agent is being restarted frequently by something. The easiest way to check this is by going to the log path and check how many rsd.log files you have for the same day. It will create a new file every time agent is restarted. For more information on this issue, please check the agent troubleshooting guide from Docs.